Okay, moving right along with oral communications. Yes, we do have a few. Next speaker is Dwayne Dietz, followed by Sheila Cameron, and then Marie Dardarian. Mayor Gasper, Deputy Mayor Schaefer, and council members, I'm a Encinitas resident. I'm here to introduce the idea of abrupt climate change. There are three views on climate change, but most folks getting their news from mainstream media know about two of those. You might call it the Republican view and the Democratic view. But there is a third view, and it's uh, different in that it's abrupt. It's best described as abrupt in the sense that it's happening faster than ever before. Average global temperatures are rising 10 times faster than has ever occurred in the 200,000 years that modern humans have been on planet Earth. It's not totally new. The New York Times and the Washington Post have both had articles recently where they used the term abrupt climate change. So it is, it is starting to be known about. There is a near-term phenomenon. It's not 100 years out, as we typically think. The time scale is more like the next one or two decades. That loss of the plant, animal, and marine life, which is basically the habitat for humans, is going to be a major problem. The city's climate action plan, actually the one that is uh, going to be updated, spans that same two-decade period. So this is something that uh, when serious thought is put into updating the plan, uh, I recommend that, that someone look at these other uh, factors that are going on right now and, uh, and not just press ahead as if nothing different is happening. Now, the leading proponent of this view, his name is Dr. Guy McPherson, an award-winning award -winning professor emeritus of natural resources, ecology, and evolutionary biology at the University of Arizona. This combination of disciplines are core to the study of species that become extinct. When he began speaking out about the ramifications of this third view, he was pressured by the university to keep his thoughts to himself. As a matter of conscience, he could not remain quiet. He walked away from a professorship and the retirement benefits that would follow that. I'm here to say that he will be speaking on Tuesday May 17th at the Incinitas Community Center, 6.30 to 8.30. I encourage anyone who is thinking about climate action plans and that kind of thing, whether it's you members of the council or members of the staff, to come and hear what he has to say. And uh, I've got the poster there that gives some details. Thank you, sir. I do, I, I'll just say that I do plan to give this same uh, little talk to the Environmental Committee tomorrow. Great. And I will try to urge them to come out and, and hear. I was just going to suggest that. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah.